could be a long day of really high quality squash and here's Farida Mohammed against Belgium's Hine Gillis. You mentioned before Lee about the winners of of Mohammed but also the errors and I think that ratio is going to have a huge impact on this match so far we've had uh, Gillis has got five points five, and four. it's two two of those are her own winners but three were um, were very unforced errors from Oh, that's so aggressive. I mean, it's high risk squash. When you look at that kill that Nine came before that winning shot. It's where that tension will creep into Gillis a bit because you know you're so aware that you have to keep that ball tight. Otherwise, the ball is being fired in by the opponent. Stroke to Mohammed. Definitely going to see a review Gillis here. Well, we are decision. just... We need to see where the striking point is. I can't quite I see, it see the other angle. angle actually. See, I think it's it's hard to see whether she's if she's just fallen. She just fell back there, which was uh, going to be a downfall. If she'd stepped forward, yeah. I think it, she was room to go through. But unfortunately, her balance just went and she stepped backwards. Yeah, it was so severely hit that you know it bounced twice before I think Gillis had actually seen it. Six, five. Yeah. That's nice work from Gillis that. She hunted that ball across and the out. middle with the, how Mohammed plays, to be honest. I think she looks like she's moving okay. Yeah, I agree. Well, here we go, it's trouble. Yeah. To Mohammed. Well, that ball came back. Hillis frustrated. Pretty much a carbon copy of the Mohammed. first game there. Yeah. Leads. Two games to well, love. we're going for a review, but... Yeah, it was your shot that caused the interference. I thought we reviewed. Did you not review? Well, no, both I, players are off the court. I think maybe she knows it's a, a frustration. And... Done no well there. That's no let. She was left stranded here. Yeah, I think G Gillis will be a bit annoyed that she, you know, she could put that first drop in a bit better, but she did really well here, adapted there just to great lift from Gillis there to get herself back into that rally. She's absorbed here, and this could start putting a bit of pressure on Mohammed now. Uh, but that's that's so positive and for Mohammed. She basically was staying up on and in front of that short line. Down. Well, there you go. 11, Quick fire, three, third game Gillies. in favour of the Belgian. I mean, you're absolutely right. It's, it's a, I think it could be really costly not taking a new ball for Mohammed, but it's certainly suiting Gillis, this dead ball. I think Gillis ended up doing a few uh, hard movements fun. there, all, all stemmed from a, a poor serve, actually, which came flying off the back wall. And Set the trap and ensnared her prey. Yeah. That's a great oh, shot. Wow. Well, the leaping okay. volley drop. Seven, five. Did say she needed to do more of that, Lee. So maybe, maybe I was right for once. That's a stroke. She's not covered. Is she not been able to clear? Play review. No, no review. No, there's no review. She knows it. And yeah, 13, 11, match to Mohammed. Do you what? Freedom Mohammed did incredibly one. well there to resist that, nine, that fight 11, back nine, three, 11, of Tene Gillis. So tough, 45 tough minutes that one. Freedom Mohammed taking out Tene Gillis at 3 1. Really close back at the end there. The 
second game, neither of the players came on, didn't hit a single ball <laughs> before serving. It's unbelievable. And out 4-1. Just knowing that Turner was coming out of that front right, Kennedy twisting her back in with back-to-back -back boasts. Well, that certainly had Never a lot nine. more purpose. Kennedy. She was balanced when Kennedy she played that. Forehand side, definitely an area that needs to be tidied up from both players. Managed to get the length of the line on the left-hand wall, but not on the forehand. And Pretty good play, very, very good play. She gets it right. It's very, very effective. Two game balls for Kennedy, a massive two love lead. It's good pressure. Yes, yeah, now right winner into video the back of the court. We're going video referee decision, but um, see here, it's that initial movement and the ball's gone. Where you look at the ball's bounced and the pace it's going through at, I'm not sure she'd regroup to go and get this ball. Or confirmation no of that, no let. Seen as an outright winner into the back 11 of the court. Line. 11 9 11 to. Kendi, Kendi leads two games to love. Well, again, slightly laboured into that front right. The movement uncomfortable Seven for Termel. Good attacking boast from Kennedy. Oh, it's good. What's that and backhand side? It's her, her, her area to finish a shot. Nice finish. Yes, yeah, well played. Very good 11, rally, 7, that last one. Canadian Physical. So, Georgina Kennedy 11, 9, 11, will be eight. very, very happy Adam holding seven. off her younger English counterpart. Battle of the English in round one. Georgina Kennedy taking out world number 22, Lucy to melt. Three games to love in 42 minutes. Yeah, it's a good test here for Evans. She'll enjoy this court, though. Four two. Banner rallies, execute them. We've only had five minutes and we've been flying along. 10 9. Still game ball for Evans. Down. Channel. The player must win by two points.
stroke to average. Well, the stroke's been awarded. Zeta McCauley trying to argue a case, saying that the ball was short. Come a long way back. The name Spont, James Spont. Stroke to Evans, decision upheld. 14-12, game to Evans, Evans leads. One game to low. Evans gets her name on the board. Six to right. Yeah, but Leeds disappear so quickly in this format. Particularly against the experience of Evans. Sneaking up now, 8-10, being helped by the Rin Tin Tins. Oh, would you believe that? Is a loose shot from McCowie and Evans just handed her the game. It's a very tough one to kind of call at the moment. It's back and forth. And it, really, it's who hits the tin the least. It's as simple as that. That's what it is coming down to. Short, short rallies. Almost. I mean, there's a case here to, to just, when you take it in, get, give yourself a margin on the front wall with a lot of cut, and the ball still hits the front wall and spins down, and it, and it bites and stays incredibly short still. So. I don't think you actually have to, to go that risky here and still be able to hit very effective short balls. Well, another error from McCowie, hands that game to Evans. Evans will be really pleased with her performance in that game. She never looked in any danger. No, I mean, the error count is monstrously big. Well, it's a loose shot from McCowie yeah. onto the racket of Evans. You put a player... really well to control that lob on the stretch like that it's a very difficult shot wow that's an unbelievable shot talk about going for it when the opportunity is there that was immaculate Evans has got it. 11-7, match to Evans. In four Three games. games to one. Looking for 14, 12, victory 11, in under 45 minutes. 11-6, 11-7. The Welsh number one managing to book her place into round two. a little bit stranded there in the middle of the court, quite a bit of space between them. Nine. And out, seven, five. That was a very powerful falling line on the forehand side. Yeah, it's a nice finish from Ramadan. Seven, Very composed Ramadan. in that situation. One game to love. Check this out. Yeah, she deserved that first game, Ramadan. It's a lot of kind of wrist and shoulder. Things at times struggles to get the wit. That's a great shot. You can't fault 
Hannah Ramadan. She's 16. making the most of this scenario. She's waiting for opportunities, making those count. Bit. It's better from oh, Latorno. The quality of the shot previous Fine, no. there was nice and deep. Enabled her to get that position. Well, sharp movement from Ramadan, forcing the extra Ramadan. shot and then the error Ramadan from Latorno. Latorno is certainly starting to find a stride at the back end of the second game there. But the moral of the tale, the unforced error creeping in. Vicious, absolutely vicious, that uh, forehand. She's got a very, very heavy Three, hit two. on either side. It's impressive. Got absolutely stuck here. Stroke to Letourneau. I mean, Letourneau didn't know too much about the ball, Player but the fact Ramadan. is, is the ball Stroke came straight Zero. back to Ramadan. It's one of those ones where Letourneau hasn't Stroke got a racket Letourneau. ready or doesn't know anything about it. Oh, if you can't play it, I mean, it, I mean, if you stand there on the ball and your opponent's nowhere near it, surely it's not straight, but... She likes to hit the ball on the whole pretty, pretty hard and powerfully. And down that seven, mistake five. there. She, she had a good opportunity at such a crucial time, and it was a loose ball from the Torno. Well, this is reverted Ten, seven, back to the situation that we saw from the Torno in the first couple of games. The error count, she really has gone walkabout mentally. Three match balls for Ramadan. Ball not 11, up, seven, so Hannah Ramadan scores a victory. Her first victory 11, over seven, Danielle Latorno. She does like this tournament. She's had some results here in the past. 41 minutes, 3-1 victory to book her place into round two.